ladies and gentlemen, I don't think anybody is in shock over the fact that Charles Barkley and Gail King's CNN primetime show has ended after only six months on the air. It started in November of 2023, and here we are in April of 2024, and it has already ended. Mm -mm -mm. Well, I could have told you these two were not going to bring in the ratings. I <laughs> should not be shocked. I could have told CNN this before they even aired the first show. The show, which aired at 10 p.m. on Wednesday night, had suffered from abysmal ratings and remember the the first show they had i think they said it was the lowest ratings in cnn history <laughs> now that's pretty bad that's pretty bad and uh from the start and it had not managed to find an audience after 14 episodes it consistently came to a distant third compared to the cable news competitors, Gutfeld on Fox News and The Last Word with Lawrence O'Donnell on MSNBC, and was even beaten out by the ratings by reruns of Friends and South Park. Although it was enormously reported that it had been canceled on Monday, a CNN spokesperson on Men's Journal said the series was intended to have a limited run when it was announced last April. But even when it, you know, first started, King Charles had the lowest rating during the premiere for a primetime weeknight series on a network in at least a decade with 500,000 total viewers and 139,000. And they said the demographic that did watch was between the ages of 25 and 54, according to Nielsen data. Viewership had dropped 20% since November. Wow, that's pretty steep. And overall, the show was averaging about 459,000 total viewers weekly with about 106,000 between the ages of 25 to 54. The episode that aired on January 31st marked the first time the show wasn't able to surpass 100,000 viewers in the age range of 25 to 54, the data shows. An industry source blamed Barclay's schedule for the show never finding its footing the 61-year-old was only able to film the show on Wednesdays due to other commitments. And, you know, and this was due to his co-hosting duties on TNT. Inside the NBA, said a source close to the network. For his part, Barkley has also admitted that his packed schedule made it difficult for the show to attract a loyal audience. Well, the fact that you picked Charles Barkley and Gail King, you were asking for that show to fail. I'm sorry, but you were. These two couldn't uh, attract a fly, let alone an audience, especially um, Gail King and Charles Barkley. They're not even favored among the people, even on the networks that they work at now, TNT and CBS. And I could have told you from the jump, I could have saved you a lot of money, CNN, when you said these two were going to host the show. <laughs> I could have told you right then and there, it would never make it. It would never make it. These two, they just can't attract an audience like that. And they could have, at least in my opinion, they should have went with younger host and they should have went with maybe people that weren't so well known in the industry as Gail King and Charles Barkley, because we know, you know, even among the group that they are from, they're not very favored. So I knew as soon as CNN put this show on, there was no way it was going to get good ratings. 
And as you can hear, it didn't. It didn't from the jump. And it just seems like from November when the opening show had poor ratings, it just stayed on that steady decline from there. So CNN, I guess you just like wasting a lot of money because <laughs> you definitely wasted your money on this. And it was prime time and they talked on some of the, you know, trending topics that were going on out there. But in all honesty, who gives a crap about Charles Barkley, his opinion, or even the opinion of Gail King? You know, I don't think I've come across one person since I've been on social media that said they care about either one of their opinions or even one person saying they look forward to watching the shows they're on every day. I don't even get that. I don't think I've ever even gotten that just from talking about these two. You know, Gail, I really never talked a lot about. I have over the years done videos about Charles Barkley because, you know, he's known for doing a lot of off the cuff talking and at times sound quite anti-black. And, you know, because of that, I have done videos about Charles Barkley in the past, so especially the outlandish things that he tends to say. But as far as Gail King, I have never talked a lot about Gail King. I think I might have done a handful uh, full of videos about her in the past, but not a lot. She is just not a big conversation piece on my channel at all. In fact, I don't see a lot of other um, YouTube creators talking a lot about Gail King or Charles Barkley for that matter. So y'all, the show is gone. You know, it really don't matter to me because I never really watched it in the first place. So I don't care that it's gone. I really don't care at all. But y'all, please tell me what you think about this video. Please leave your comment and subscribe. Don't forget to hit on the notification bell and I'll see you on the next video. Peace, family.